guys, it's your best fight friends. I'm Kelsey. That's Rachel. Rachel, do you think there are too many titles in boxing? A great rant by boxing superstar, retired boxing superstar, Floyd Mayweather Jr. He was at, he's the promoter of Gervonta Davis, who fights Seal Santa Cruz next weekend. He was at Davis's open workout, which was shown on Showtime's YouTube channel. Anyway, he went on a pretty epic rant about how the boxing sanctioning organizations are killing the sport of boxing. And I think he's right, Rachel. But one could point out that Floyd Mayweather competed for many of these same alphabet titles that he is <laughs> complaining about. So I think Floyd Mayweather would have the, what is it, The unique, he's in the unique position to see this from multiple sides. I'm wow. sure as a fighter, he was really excited and happy to you know, grab these different belts. Like, it does mean something to all the fighters. Yeah, and even, I would say, it's easy for us as, that aren't in the ring fighting for these to be like, oh, these belts don't matter. Yeah. Talking about the secondary belts, like the regular WBA title or even, like, the IBO title or whatever. Even the intercontinental stuff like that. But if you were a fighter, it would be hard not to want to compete for a belt, right? Because it... There is some significance to it. And who doesn't want a championship belt, Rachel? I want one. Well, yeah, and I kind of see this as, I mean, then are we saying that, like, as you come up and say you're fighting in a in a region, that then it's not, like, you shouldn't get, like, a belt or a title? These are just, just, like, the belt is, like, beside the point. These are just, like, recognition, right? This yeah. happens through all, like, I, I came up through the public school system, right? And, like, through UIL and there's the NCAA. Like, you get recognized for things. Like, it happens. Yeah, and our, so Lou Savarese, who's a really famous fighter here in Houston, he's Houston heavyweight champ. Yeah, he's Houston's heavyweight champ. Now, Lou didn't win one of the four major sanction belt titles that were heavyweight champion. He won another title sanctioning organization as a heavyweight champion. But yeah, I think if Lou calling himself a heavyweight champ is great because he, you know, do you, do you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's oh, it's one thing to be a hardliner against certain things. It's another thing to just accept things for what they are. However, I agree with Floyd's point in that the sanctioning organizations have gotten out of control and that, I mean, we put together that piece for heavy trying to explain to non-boxing people how boxing... Professional boxing's championship system. How many words is that thing? 2,000 words? Over 2,000 words. And, like then, it's, and we were trying to be like... I was trying to just give you the information the basics, you needed to understand. Yeah. And it's so convoluted and yeah. complicated. So, and I think, like, when we say, yeah, you have these different titles and we understand, like, how that happens and how it's even good to say, oh, this fighter accomplished something. He moved up the, the ladder run oh. a little bit, right? But... Here's where I agree with Floyd, is that we have, of the four major sanctioning organizations, they are coming in and doing things where you're just, it's just confusing. The WZ's franchise belt. A <laughs> they super, don't even understand it. <laughs> a super champ. So, like, I completely understand if you want smaller regional titles that people compete for, it kind of gives that fighter some notoriety. Gives them something to defend, another fighter to... I, I totally get that. But these organizations are, when they create like an interim champ and a super champ and a diamond champ and a franchise, and then they don't have rules to go with these. So like we were coming into last weekend between Lomachenko and Lopez, and it, it was like at first it's like, well, it should be undisputed. But is it? But one of these is a <laughs> franchise belt, which... In the beginning, wasn't couldn't be won or lost. It was just then like all of something. A sudden it could be. But then it was like, well, that doesn't make sense because yeah. how do you elevate? What Lomachenko still going to be the friend WB like the top yeah. one? But and how yeah, how do you elevate somebody? Because these guys were elevated to French. How do you elevate and then that becomes not the top title? It's it was almost like like <laughs> if Lomachenko lost to Lopez, then maybe he would just lose the franchise belt. He would no longer it would be taken away from him. They don't know. What I know. But then Lopez doesn't have a WBC belt. He has to then go win the one that now got elevated back to its top spot, which is the one Devin Haney has. <laughs> so, like, see how confusing that is? We, and I agree with Floyd there. All of this stuff is super confusing. What I think, what I suggest is that somebody out there that has the power would have been Floyd when he was 
Floyd could have done it. When he was the champ, when he was lineal champ, yeah. he was the champ at Walter Way. He could have said, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm dropping all these belts. I'm the champ, but I'm not holding these yeah. belts anymore. I'm not paying the sanctioning fees okay. because I don't want to do but this But now anymore. Floyd's retired. He's not in position to do that. But somebody out there is, right? How about Canelo Alvarez? Alvarez, it will help if it was the biggest star in the sport, like Canelo is. Today. That has a lot of belts. Somebody <laughs> like that, that is the man. Canelo is the man at middleweight. I don't care yeah. what other anybody else says. He's the lineal champ. Or, hey, Tyson Fury could do it, too. But they don't, do they? Tyson touch around the no, WBC belt pretty happily. The fighters so, And I get want, that. I get it. They want it. And I and I totally get that, too. So I think it's a lot to ask for a fighter. Yeah. What I said to you earlier is, I was like, well, I wonder, Mayweather Promotions, if as a promotional outfit, it could just say, our fighters, they don't fight for alpha, alphabet belts. They could. They'll, they you know, they'll be ranked by the ring and they'll be ranked by T-Burb and, and that's it. We don't fight for alphabet belts. We don't pay those sanctioning fees because it's got too confusing. So Mayweather Promotions is taking a stand and not doing that. And I think that would actually bring in like a lot of fighters who would now not be fighting for yeah. those belts, but would still be fighting, right, for the rankings. And the good thing about the ring magazine ratings panel T Burb is that they are panels that don't receive sanctioning fees for fighters, so like they're separate and they just operate. I don't want to go off on a tangent here, but I just I used to be part of the transnational boxing rankings board when it yeah. first came onto the scene, and one of the reasons I left was because I got out of the sport of boxing for a while. Right, I didn't really have I wasn't I didn't want to just like half ass it. But the, another reason that I never really revealed is because I always thought everybody on that board should have like black leather jackets that said T-Burbs on it. You know, like some grease jackets. I am sitting here intently <laughs> listening to you and you just made a T-Birds like pun joke thingy. <laughs> I mean, I thought, I was like, oh, you've never revealed, like... I've never revealed this ridiculous nonsense. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's a grease lightning. <laughs> you know, I'm It could usually, be grease lightning! I'm usually prepared for your nonsense, and I know that it's coming. Mm. But. I have to sneak it to you now during well our done. shows, because you're like, surely he won't do this during one of our shows. But you would be wrong. Hey, thanks for watching, <laughs> and let us know... Do you agree or disagree with Floyd? What do you think? Um, and what are your suggestions for maybe cleaning up some of the confusion and boxing the uh, title, title belt picture? Belt. Yeah, there you go, picture. All right, thanks for watching.